Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Lee Height and we're here today to demonstrate a biomass fuel briquette press. These are a series of three presses that are very easy to build, They're all made out of wood, all can be made with hand tools and can be made in a very short period of time. They can make either a square briquette or the traditional round briquette, both with a hole in the center or you can leave the hole out, your choice. But again, it's intended to be a very simple approach to making briquettes and is an alternative to the very large presses that you see all over the world of the compound lever press or the single lever press that are very large in size. These are very small in size, have a very small footprint and are very easy to build. So with that we'll get started. To begin with we'll demonstrate the press that makes a square briquette like this with a hole in the center. You can leave the hole out if you don't need a, a hole but it does uh, enhance drying and storage and stacking up for burning. The, I compare that to the traditional mold, which is a 3 inch PVC Schedule 40 that is traditionally used either in, in the very large presses and in some cases the 4 inch mold is used. Uh, in this case uh, we're using a, a square mold because if you don't happen to have access to the PVC then you can make a press that uses a square mold out of 2 by 4s very simple 3 inch square with a 3 inch plunger setting on a 3 inch base just undersized and the traditional drainage tube and that's all there is to it. Plunger and a lever to do the pressing. The amount of pressure on the briquette is about 150 psi. That's low compared to the other presses. However, it is adequate to make a very good briquette. It just has more water, takes a little bit longer to dry. In Ohio sun, this takes about a day and a half to dry in the, in the sun, while the traditional briquette can dry in about one day. You'll notice we have a drainage pan under here. It's important to preserve and capture the water. Water is scarce in many of these locations. On with the plunger, the narrow side, do an initial press, turn it over, lean on it a little bit, and that's about it. Remove the plunger, the rails, push the mold down, out with the drainage tube, and we have another 3 inch square biomass fuel briquette with a hole in the center. Second single lever briquette press. Looks very similar to the first one. It's actually easier to build than the first one. It's a support platform with a couple of rails, vertical rails, and a removal jig to remove the briquette. Yeah, I've got it tilted at an angle for the water to drain off. There's some grooves in the base plate here to allow water to drain. And a pusher lever, uh, like we had before, and that's all there is to it. Here we're going to use the traditional 3 inch mold made out of Schedule 40 PVC. And the mold is very simple. We've got three and a half inches of uh, PVC with uh, three sixteenths holes drilled on one half inch centers. We've got a perforated base plate, fits just on the inside diameter, and uh, with a hole in the center, and also drilled with three sixteenths inch holes. The mold sets on top of the base plate, and we've got the traditional drainage tube. And with that, we'll get started. We have the uh, plunger that has a, a hole in the center to accept the drainage tube. With that, we'll make a briquette. We're using some of the same mixture we had before. Sawdust with paper pulp, 80% sawdust, 20% paper pulp. Fill up the briquette mold. We use a short dimension as we did before. Do an initial press and turn it around and we'll lean on it a little bit like that. And this will generate about 200 psi on the briquette. Base plate, put it up on the removal jig. Press out the briquette and we have a nice 3 inch briquette. And now we're going to move into the compound lever press. You're all familiar with the very large compound lever press used all over the world. This is a miniature version, micro press, for the compound lever press. Actually will generate as much pressure or more than the large press, as hard as that is to believe. It does create a tremendous amount of force. There's the traditional two levers interconnected and the pressure point is here. We'll use the same mold that we used before. Perforated plate, make the three inch mold, perforated plate, drainage tube, and the plunger with a hole in the center. We do uh, want to drain as much water off the process as possible and with that in mind you can either build these rails to be taller or in my case I made a cradle for it to set in so the water drains off to the side and we'll put some trays down here to capture the water and with that we'll get started. Again, same process as before, the base plate, put the drainage tube in, tilt it to the side for ease of loading. And 
even with a plunger, we'll do an initial press to get the, the initial squeeze of water out, move it down to the high pressure point, lean on it, and now we're generating over 2,000 pounds of pressure on that briquette. This makes a very high quality briquette. Bring it up, remove the base plate, same removal jig as we had before. Press out the briquette and uh, remove the drainage tube and we have a very high quality, very high pressure briquette. To repeat the process, same as before, drainage tube to the side. Initial press. And that's all there is to it. You don't have to hold it long. The water comes right out. Remove the base plate. Out we go. And we have another briquette. You also make about a dozen of these in 10 minutes. All these presses move very quickly. And you can make a lot of briquettes in a very short period of time. And this is good a quality briquette as is the one out of the large compound lever press. Just for the record, I think it's important to say that you do not need one of these presses to make a decent quality biomass fuel briquette. You can of course do it the traditional way, what we call a small briquette, which is just a handful of the biomass material, squeeze it into a ball, let it dry in the sun, and it will make a briquette of this quality. They're uh, very solid. You can drop them. They will not fall apart, and they burn rather well. So you can make a small briquette. Works quite well.